The goblet squat is my personal favorite weighted squat variation because it really helps to reinforce proper body mechanics. To perform what you're gonna do is grab a kettlebell and get it up into a position where you're holding it at your chest by the horns. So what I usually do is do a goblet clean to get the kettlebell up. Okay, so holding that kettlebell by the horns to the side, what you're going to do is lower your body to the ground by shooting your hips back and keeping your elbows down. So you're gonna descend, and as you descend, you are going to keep those elbows on the insides of your knee. So your knee should be tracking over your toe, and those elbows should be tracking on the inside of your knee. Then you're going to simply squeeze your glutes and stand up nice and strong. Now, in order to maintain tension in your core, you may find that blowing your breath out and doing a short movement really helps to engage your entire core and keep those glutes nice and tight as you stand. So all together, that's gonna look like this. The most common mistake that people make when doing the goblet squat is dropping the chest or allowing the heels to come off the ground. Now this is typically caused by mobility issues, so immobility in the hips or the ankles. And it also can be caused by weakness, so the inability to actually maintain the proper posture when doing the goblet squat. So if that happens to you, all I want you to do is go as far down as you can while maintaining proper form. So if you start to feel your chest drop or your heels come off the ground, what I want you to do is stop there and then stand up nice and strong. And you'll slowly be able to go down farther and you'll build strength. So this is an example of what not to do. The second most common mistake that people make when doing the goblet squat is falling into the squat as opposed to controlling the descent. So think about actually pulling yourself into the squat with your hip flexors. This may be a little confusing, so what I want you to think about is lying on your back and having your feet up. And what would it feel like if somebody were to actually pull on your feet and you had to resist them? You would be using your hip flexors to pull yourself back. That's what you want to feel when going or descending into the goblet squat. You want to feel like you're pulling yourself into that squat with your hip flexors and you're moving nice and slow and controlled. Then you're going to, of course, stand up nice and strong. So this is an example of what not to do.